This is why, because of this level of precision and the need for extremely clean oil in the 6 liter engine, I recommend to my fleet owners the FS2500 oil filter. This is a bypass filtration system that takes impurities out of the oil larger than one micron. As a result of this, the oil stays very clean and you don't have to change it as often. You combine this technology along with synthetic oil now, Mobile One or, a, or the Rotella synthetic that's made for diesels, you will see significant long-term benefits for your injectors and your engine by using the system. This is not an inexpensive option to install on your truck and it won't avoid warranties. If you're going to keep the truck to 200000 or more, I highly recommend doing this. But it is an expensive endeavor. It's $500 just for the system. This is an FS2500 filter. You can access their website at fs2500.com. And there's another competitor there. It's called OilGuard, which is a little bit cheaper. It still has the same benefits. But the quality of the FS2500 system with their, the billet aluminum uh, uh, brackets and the, and the way everything's put together are unsurpassed by any of their competitors. Synthetic oil in this filtration system does add a cost to operating the vehicle. But if you're going to keep the truck for long-term usage, I highly recommend it. The FS2500 also benefits a 7.3, but it doesn't have as significant benefits as it does to the 6 liter. Again, just like the turbocharger on the 6 liter, the fuel injectors are affected by the poor fuel quality in American fuel pumps. It is what it is. It caused a lot of trouble for Ford early on. Now that the federal mandates have forced the fuel suppliers to supply a better quality of fuel and a cleaner fuel that's been filtered more, uh, we have seen significant drops in terms of problems with these components. Now we're on to the high pressure oil pump and the high pressure oiling system. Remember when we talked about the fuel injectors being a syringe and that there's a hand that's pushing on the syringe and then there's there's fuel being, in, uh, being put into the injector and then there's an electronic control that tells that hand how far to go. The best way to explain the high pressure oil system in these trucks is by that hand pushing. It's the hand pushing on the top of the syringe or on the actuator of the injector. These high pressure oil systems can produce up to 3,000 pounds per square inch at startup in, the, in an effort to get the injectors to shoot that fuel in there and cause the engine to start quickly in the first few rotations from the starter so that we don't burn up starters. It's an incredible system and it works beautifully. The oil quality has to be maintained in both vehicles to make sure that this high pressure oil system works. If you allow the oil to degrade, you're going to see significant losses in power and you're going to see premature failure of the high pressure oil pump. Now we have three different types of high pressure oil pumps in front of us here. This is the 7.3 high pressure oil pump. They vary a little bit from year to year in terms of flow and fittings and whatnot. There's actually three different versions of this pump. There's the early first generation, which is up to 97, and then there's a, a second generation, which is uh, from the, the 98 to 2000, uh, and then there's the one from 2000 to 2003. The only real main difference between the pumps is that as they got newer, they flowed more. As uh, International developed higher capacity injectors, they had to come up with pumps that could push the fuel through them. But the basic idea of the high pressure oil pumps in the 7.3 is all the same, regardless of how much flow they moved. This one is the first generation uh, 6.0 from 2003 to the first quarter of 2004. Uh, they had a, some serious, serious design problems with this, this high pressure oil pump. The first generation they had significant problems with here in 2003 to early 2004. This is a revised version, but the early ones had uh, composite gears that ran inside of here. The impeller was actually composite. And this thing would disintegrate if oil quality was not maintained. The answer to that problem in mid-year 2004 was this design. And we're going to talk about these each individually and show how they're attached to the motors and what the problems that they've had with them. If you look over the top of the front of your engine in your truck, right here in the front would be the water pump. You look over the top, there's a fuel reservoir that sits here. And underneath that fuel reservoir is your high-pressure oil pump. 
The high pressure oil pump is fed by oil in an upper reservoir. It comes from the lower pressure oil pump down by the crankshaft and is pushed up here. The oil is fed into the pump and the pump is and the pump feeds the pressure into the cylinder heads. It's regulated by a valve. This one has the valve removed, but it's regulated by what's called an internal pressure regulator valve here on the pump. The oil is fed into the cylinder heads via this line and this fitting. The oil is then fed through this oil rail that we have open on this engine down to the injectors which are in this spot. In fact, you can see, in fact, you can see the port right there that the oil comes through. The fuel comes through that rail down there at the very bottom, but the oil is fed through this. As long as the seals are good, and as long as the pressure is maintained, and as long as good oil is fed to the high pressure oil pump, this is an incredibly good system. It works absolutely fantastically with very little problems. If the quality of the oil is maintained, it's nothing to see 200,000 plus miles out of this high pressure oil pump system. The design of this high pressure oil system is virtually unchanged from the, from the 1994 model year up to 2003. It worked very, very well. On the 6.0, the high pressure oil pump is located underneath the turbocharger. We see the turbocharger bracket. If we look from the front of the engine, it's virtually impossible to see the high pressure oil pump on the back of the engine. One of the significant differences between the 6 liter and the 7.3 is that the gear drive that runs all of the timing components on a 6 liter is located on the back of the engine. On the 7.3 it's located on the front. So as a result the high pressure oil system has to be located at the back of the engine. On an engine here that's stripped down pretty good with the heads off of it, it's very easy to see how the high pressure oil flows. It comes from the pump and it's pushed through a rail here in the back that comes up here to a standpipe. Now one of the significant differences about the later model after mid-year 2004 was they moved this sensor, which is the, what's called the IPC sensor, which measures high pressure oil from back here by the regulator, which was extremely difficult to get through. The only way you could get at this sensor was from the back of the engine. It had to go from underneath. They moved it onto the valve cover. So there is a difference uh, in the later models in terms of this oil rail. And when they updated to 2004, they fixed many of the problems, not the least of which was these connectors. 